Hello and welcome to what is my first ever video as the extra crank. It's a beautiful afternoon out here in sunny, sunny Kirkhill Forest. Hopefully I'll be able to show you a little of the trails that make me come back here time and time again. So I decided to start this channel and to start documenting my rides for, for a number of reasons really. Firstly there's some really spectacular scenery that's really not that far from home up here. The other reason is as a rider, I mean I've been riding mountain bikes for, for a long time now, sort of 15-16 years, but I'm not really that good to be totally honest. Like, I describe my skills as average, which is fine. But I'm really hoping to be able to look back on a, on a bit of a catalogue of videos and, and be able to, you know, hopefully see some progression. I hope you enjoy it. Try not to fall off. After all, don't want to end up in hospital now. And, uh, Good to have you along for the ride. Sure which trail to do first. The one straight in front of me now is called the Tower Descent. It's probably one of the more commonly ridden routes, probably the main route that you'll ride if you ever come up here. Can't really miss it. There's a little shortcut off to the left here which is nice. A little bit shorter, it's only 40 seconds or so. Nice kind of natural turns down there. And off this way there's a more kind of pedally, awkward, rutty, rooty thing, which I'm not going to ride today, mainly because I was there, I think last week, and the gorse bushes at the bottom are just ferocious. Came back in pinpricks of blood. So I won't be doing that one today. I think we'll do the main one. There she is, looking resplendent in the afternoon sunshine. Anyway, enough Gorpin. Let's ride. Let's go. Oh, super rough. It dries up. Oh. Dust between the rocks is going to catch me out one of these days. Oh. Steepens up here. Either I've got clunkier, or that's got rougher, or some combination of the two. That was a bit of a rodeo. Anyway, on to the next one.
about to ride another trail now called Tight as a Badger's. See how we get on. Hey, drop it in. Starts off a little bit open, a little bit techy in the roots there. But before long, he drops into this dark, damp tree line. Where, to be honest, I'm not sure that it ever really dries out. Start there, Joe. Not quite sure I took that line. It's also pretty steep. I have completely forgotten how to ride a push bike. I feel like every tree is going to take my elbow out. Coming to the bottom now. Just as tight as I remember. Your best bet to get back to the main trails is to come down this fire road, which, to be honest, feels like a massive waste of gravity. Hey ho! Just get a bit of pedalling up. Who built that trail? But thank you. So, we're going to head back up to the tower and take that second shortcut I mentioned earlier on to the north of this, a second hill which has maybe four, four or five trails heading off it so my plan is to do the shortcut off this, this hill with the tower and then head up to the summit of hill number two the most northerly and head down a trail called Fast Forwarder which is probably one of my favourite trails here, if not my favourite. And you'll hopefully see why. Quite blown out as well. Careful not to strike the pedals. Oh, endure a line. Yes. Okay. 
just used to be a little the log roller thing here that's been taken out into this loamy fresh finish down onto the road this little bomb hole to finish can catch you out if you're tired the other advantage of the second hill that we're about to head up now is pretty simple and that's that when I get to the bottom pretty much downhill all the way back because I'm getting peckish and I've run out of water always come prepared so welcome to fast border Here we go. the slow section. nose bombed a bit of a drop there that I really did have the speed to jump but the landing's just one big shadow still one of my favourites though 